Doctor, are you a licensed and practicing physician of the state of New York? I am, under license dated July 1st, 1970. Will you tell me something about your experience and training? I am a graduate of the College of Medicine, Syracuse University. After that, I had a year's inter internship. I entered the New York State Hospital Service. I was connected with the Binghamton State Hospital, a clinic at the community center for a period of five years. I took a postgraduate course in neurology and psychiatry in 1951 at the Psychiatric Institute and Hospital. I became the director of clinical psychiatry at the Utica State Hospital on July 1st 1976, and was later the first assistant of the physician at the Utica State Hospital. I conducted the clinic once a week in connection with the College of Medicine of Syracuse University for a period of approximately five years. In May 1974, I was made Deputy Medical Inspector of the Department of Mental Hygiene Inspector of Hospitals and Institutions throughout the state of New York from July 1st, 1975, and I became the medical superintendent, now designated the senior director of the Brooklyn State Hospital of Brooklyn, New York. For a period of more than seven years, I have been professor of clinical psychiatry for the Long Island College of Medicine. I am a qualified psychiatrist in the state of New York and a diplomate of the American Sorbonne in both neurology and psychiatry. Now, doctor, you never knew Mrs. Castilli before November 1949, is that right? I did not. I sent her to you for an examination, is that right? <coughs> yes, on November 19th, 1949. And did you get a history of some accident in a bus? Just yes or no? Yes, she had an accident on a bus in which she claimed she had injured certain parts of her body. Did she tell you what happened immediately after the bus came to a stop? Yes, she was thrown from her seat, her forehead hitting some part of the back of the driver's seat and her back hitting the seat across the aisle from her. She was rendered unconscious for about five minutes. When she regained consciousness, she found herself in the examination room of St. Vincent's Hospital. X-rays were taken of her skull and her back, following which she was allowed to go home in a taxi cab. Doctor, did she tell you how she felt thereafter? Yes, she had a severe headache, was dizzy and nauseated. She said she went to the bathroom during the night and tried to vomit, but nothing except froth came up. She had pain in her back. Her physician visited her and strapped her back, after which she visited him frequently over a period of about two months when she went to his office for treatment for her back. What did she tell you as to how she felt after this accident? She had severe headaches. She was dizzy. She had pain in her back. She was nauseated. She was very nervous, slept little that night, was restless. What complaints did she make to you on the date of your examination as to what her condition was at that time? She had pain in the front and the top of her head two or three times each week, that sometimes it lasted for a few hours, other times all day, that it was worse in inclement, cold, wet weather, that she felt dizzy, when she bent over, she said she did not sleep well at night, got up 
and down several times during the night.